In this tip, I'm talking about your grip pressure throughout your swing. So a couple weeks ago, had a student come and we we're working on his swing and you know, it's, it's not good. You know, like he's just got no power, clubs flopping all over the place. So I don't know how we got talking about it. He goes, you know, yeah, but I've been holding on to the club like holding a baby bird, you know? Have you ever heard that? You should grip on very lightly like you're holding on to a baby bird. Yeah, that is at the beginning of your swing to keep you nice and relaxed. As you go back, you need to kill the bird. How do I know that? Hear that beep? This club right here has a smart grip on it. This was, this came out like 40 years ago. You grip on tight, or you put some pressure. See, beeps, beeps. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold this thing as light as possible to not make it beep as I was, like as if I was holding a baby bird, right? So isn't that the thing? They want you to, like he thought you had to hold the baby bird throughout your whole swing. And I'm saying, no, you cannot hold that light and hit a golf ball. So watch, I'll, I'll go z like super, super slow. See there, I didn't make it beep, okay? That went like 30 yards, okay? Now, we'll go a little longer, okay? So again, if I put pressure, it beeps. Here. Okay? So here we go. I'll go like, I'll go 80, 80 yards or so. Here we are. Okay, that ball right there, not even 100 yards and it was beeping. Okay, if I was going up to top speed, hitting it like a real golf shot, there is no way on earth I could hold this grip like I'm holding a baby bird. It's not gonna happen. Because that wasn't even my best shot and it was already beeping. So here we go, we'll go up to top speed, okay? Okay. So that's what I'm getting at. You have to, unfortunately, kill the bird, okay? So what does that mean? That means that you are going to be holding on, for me anyway, I hold on right about here, my grip is starting to now increase. So I started a two out of three, baby bird, tube of toothpaste with the cap off, right here, because I don't want to lock up. I start the club back. So where did that start beeping? Probably right in around here. It kept beeping, 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 beeping all the way through to the end. Okay, so I'm going up to about an eight out of 10 grip pressure from about three quarters to the top, all the way down and through. The key piece though, my wrists are loose. Okay, that is the key. You're trying to hold on secure. You wanna have loose, wrists see i can make it beep and still have loose wrists so i worked on that many years ago so what i found was when i hit the top of my backswing i was letting go of the golf club here so what i did i took a t like this i did my top hand grip and i put the t in there about an inch under this pad on the bottom of my hand here. And I held on to that tee and hit balls, not dropping the tee to secure my grip, but to keep my wrists loose. So it's a fine line, you grip on tight, you're gonna lock up for a minute until you unlock the wrist joint. Okay, so it takes a bit of work. So when I first started doing it with the tee in there, yeah, the first 20 minutes wasn't good. You know, I was topping it, slicing it, you know, just not getting it airborne, but I kept fighting through it because I wanted to hold on to the club. I didn't want to let go. So I kept doing it. I made it through the first day. Second day wasn't as bad. By day three, T didn't bug me anymore. So I kept it in there for a month. I hit every ball for one month with that T inserted under this back pad right here. 
just to make sure I was never going to let go of the club ever again. So you have the T in there. Don't put it in too much because that catches on your glove. So you're only putting it in about an inch. And you have to hold that T throughout the whole swing. Okay? You keep working it back and forth. Hinge, re-hinge. I'll just turn this off for a sec here. So you're going to go like this. Hinge, letter L. Backwards, letter L. But see, I am not letting go. I have had countless people do that drill, and they let go right here. They let go here. They let go here. Maybe it's the thought of holding the baby bird. I don't know. But it's not loose grip. It's loose wrists. So your grip is secure. Again, at the beginning, you can start nice and relaxed. Once you take it back, you're secure. Your wrists are loose. See? Right here. Holding on super tight. But I can still have loose wrists. And that is a critical piece that people are definitely not working on. This, <laughs> you get this. This is one thing that gets you to hit the ball so solidly, you just won't even believe it. But maybe it's coming from people trying to hold on super light, like they're holding this bird throughout their swing. Okay, I just happened to ask my student, or he mentioned it or something, that he was trying to hold this bird, and there is just no way that was going to work. He was like, like I said, it was flopping all over the place. It's like... That is not it. So as you see by the beeping of the grip, you do not hold on to the whole, or throughout your whole golf swing, like you're holding a baby bird. Unfortunately, we got the bird here, and then we have to put the pressure on as we go back and through right to the end. So start working on that. I'm telling you, you will hit it so solid, you just won't even believe it. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. Here's another tip that's going to help you improve your swing. Now, right below that, don't forget to click on that link because I'm going to send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that'll take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing.